possibly one of the most unusual uh, interviews I'm probably going to do in my career. We are in the uh, where the MLCs would normally be meeting, but this is a, an extraordinary sitting of Timul, but mostly remote. But I'm very glad that I've got Mr. President and Mr. Speaker to join us. Um, you did one of these last week as a, as a sort of test, and you had a real one. How did it go, sir? Yes, um, it was very interesting. Um, over the centuries, Tinwald has uh, met continuously, whether in Castle Russian, St John's, the old courthouse. Uh, now we find ourselves meeting remotely with all the members scattered throughout the island, apart from the presiding officers uh, and, and the clerks. And um, we took a, a good deal of care to ensure that um, we were able to maintain the uh, discipline and the format of Tinwald as far as possible. Um, we had a rehearsal last week electronically and one or two little glitches which we think we have ironed out. Uh, but certainly we, are, we have become one of the first parliaments in the world actually to sit uh, uh, remotely and make decisions and of course this is in the interests of protecting members and staff uh, and indeed our families and the communities that we return to after the sitting. Well, I mean there's been some major legislation go through and I know Mr Speaker you've been uncomfortable with one or two of the things there. Are you finding that democracy can still be done remotely? I know, I know there's no vision, isn't there? It's just audio you're hearing. Do, how do you feel it's going? Uh, it's not quite the same. You can't read the room. You can't do the, the body language. Um, and that is an important aspect of being in a debating chamber. Um, there are, of course, always going to be things in legislation that require extra attention, extra scrutiny. Um, but I, I would say that uh, notwithstanding my own personal disagreements over some of the things that were in there, I think democracy was not only done, but shall we say heard to be done online. Um, obviously, we're restricted in terms of being able to have visitors in during the, the, the current difficulties. But as, as usual, the Tinwald sittings are live streamed so that the public can hear them and members can engage fully. Um, so there is no detriment to them in that respect, and certainly the, the bill was well scrutinised, even though it was done quickly. Okay. Now, this presumably could be going on for some time. Timul Day obviously disrupted. Uh, your views on that? Yes, well, you're quite right. We will find ourselves meeting like this for the foreseeable future through the scheduled monthly meetings of Tinwald and quite possibly the branches as well. Um, they will have to... Uh, meet in the same format to pass essential primary legislation that might be coming through. But for the time being, of course, government is finding it, it is required to pass a lot of emergency um, secondary legislation, which Tinwald has to deal with. Uh, we will not be able to do this simply by meeting monthly, so we shall have to meet uh, remotely on a weekly basis. This is our fifth um, uh, emergency meeting since the last scheduled meeting. So this could well be going on uh, for some time because as you appreciate, um, unless Tinwell does meet and sanction the legislation, uh, the emergency orders that government is bringing through under the Emergency Powers Act, uh, they will not uh, continue to have effect. So it's absolutely essential that for the work of government to continue, Tinwald continues on a, on a regular weekly basis. Uh, I think it does send out a really strong message when all our NHS workers are trying to say, stay safe, stay at home, that Tinwald is leading by example as well. And that instead of having 35 members um, sitting around in a chamber, even socially distant, um, we are, we're now down to two and everyone else can, can dial in from home. So it goes to show that we're also taking on board that key message of stay safe, stay home, and are able to do that with Tinwald as well. Okay. Just to finish with uh, Tinwald Day, we, yes. yeah, what's happening there? Tinwald Day, um, again, by law, has to continue to promulgate uh, the acts of, of Tinwald. It is a statutory requirement, but quite clearly there will be restrictions uh, most likely in place regarding social gatherings. So the public face 
aspects of Tynwald will be uh, drastically reduced. We've already announced we'll be cancelling Tynwald Fair, the entertainments, the, pre the presence of military, off-island VIPs, uh, etc. But those essential elements, uh, the promulgation by the Deemsters of the Acts from the Hill, uh, we will work out uh, the best way of doing this in very, very unusual, unique circumstances. I was going to ask you, will, do you think you could be on the hill, or do you, do you just be in the church, or well, it could be remote, you have to say you have to be there. So. Yeah. Yes, uh, we, we will work out who absolutely has to be there and uh, the, the conditions we can make that happen so that we can continue to be the world's continuous uh, oldest parliament without interruption. Just to finish with you, you say about body language, do you think this could get to a state where the videos, you know, Zoom or uh, Skype or some sort of thing could come in and would that be the, the way to go long term that you can actually see each other? The, the technology um, that we're using at the moment does allow us to see each other. Um, the thing is we're, we are at the mercy of the slowest broadband connection and trying to get 35 images uh, down any one um, person's broadband connection is, is the, the challenge and that has in testing proved to be a bit of a challenge in terms of the having an impact on the audio as well so the key thing is of course that everyone can hear each other and um, being able to see is something of an optional extra but once one person turns their video on it impacts on the um, the audio quality for everybody so at the moment that's not something we're going to do and um, it might be something that we can we can work on over time as we work out where that weakest link is um, <clears throat> but certainly that's the, the technical restriction at the moment rather than uh, something that's okay. required for any other reason. Okay well time is ticking I'll let you get ready for this uh, well, what will become a norm I suppose the new norm thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.